So yeah, you can smell mold. Mold has kind of a distinct odor. It's a lot like um, people compare it to like dirty socks. Um, you, you ever go into a locker room and you just get that <laughs> the sweaty, just mustiness, and that's pretty much what mold kind of smells like. It's just, um, and sometimes people are smelling humidity. They're not necessarily they're not necessarily smelling um, mold per se. They're smelling actual moisture and sometimes they're smelling wet building materials like one smell um that's very common that i go into a house and i know is um is wet insulation it has kind of a distinct odor that's um a lot like um it's a lot like a basement if you ever grew up in an area that has a basement it's just that wet musty smell and um, the, the, I would say dirty socks is probably the best way you can describe it. Now, if you smell a musty smell in your house, I mean, it doesn't just necessarily come from nowhere. Um, you know, the steps you should really take is number one, a lot of times it's going to come from the air conditioning. Um, cause that's where, you know, there's a lot of moisture in your air conditioning. Um, it's pushing air through it constantly and, mold can grow on many different components of the air conditioner. You have the coils that mold's growing on, the trunk line, uh, the plenum. So there's so many different areas where mold can actually grow inside the air conditioning system. So that would be the first step to take. Uh, the next step would be look for any kind of hidden types of leaks. Because if you have um, any kind of moisture, like I was saying about, you know, insulation where you're not necessarily even seeing that the, you know, the water damage, but you're smelling it, um, it could indicate you have a leak and you do have mold. So really, I would say the two big things is the air conditioning and mold, um, excuse me, leak detection. So if you can't, if you can't smell the musty smell, what, what you really want to do, and I mean, I hate to keep it so, um, so general is you want to, you want to get a mold professional in there, someone that knows what they're doing, right? You know, if you just think of it like this, if, you have an issue with your car and you can't figure it out, you're going to take it to a mechanic. The same thing with a, a mold professional. You know, you're going to want to have someone come in. They'll take air samples. Sometimes air samples, you know, they'll come back clean. It doesn't necessarily mean you don't have a problem. It just means there's no airborne mold spores that are present. You know, some mold inspectors will rely too heavily on um, air samples. Um, they're just a tool. They can detect that there's mold spores in the air, but if you have a musty smell, it doesn't always equal that you have um, a mold problem. Sometimes it could be, again, humidity. Um, sometimes it could be, st you know, static air. If, um, you know, you have no kind of uh, windows open and you're the type of person that doesn't turn on your air. I mean, you're going to have a little bit of a musty smell because you're having no kind of air exchange in your home. So if you're, if you're smelling, you know, just a musty smell and you're feeling fine, chances are, um, you know, you probably are fine. You know, it's, it's one of those things where um, you really should follow your body. If you're smelling mold and you're not feeling well, there's a good chance that you are having a mold problem and it could be affecting your health. Um, so, it's, you know, you definitely want to have a, a professional come in there and, and take a look at it. But I would say the big thing is really just listen to your body. You know, getting rid of a mold smell is, is not always that simple because you, you got to find the source. Um, you, you know, you, if, if you can't diagnose the problem, how can you fix it, right? So, um, you know, start with the air conditioner, have an, uh, an air conditioning company look at it. Um, you know, there's different components. Again, you, you, you want to have them check the coils. That's usually where the odor starts from, but the blower. Uh, I'm actually having an issue at my house where um, I started to get a little bit of a... a funky odor, a musty odor in one of my vents when I turned on the air conditioner. Um, and I, you know, I, I did clean the air conditioner myself just because I have a little bit of knowledge with it. Not that if, you know, somebody doesn't know what they're doing, they shouldn't clean it. But what, um, what I did realize is that the blower um, did have a bunch of mold on it and it smelled inside the actual air handler. Uh, I don't feel comfortable. I'm not an air conditioner professional taking out the blower. So um, I'm actually having somebody come over to my house next week uh, to clean out my blower. Um, so you want to start with the air conditioner. Um, again, you want to make sure that no kind of porous building materials is wet. Um, get yourself like a, you get a cheap moisture meter for like 15 bucks that will do the trick. 
check out, you know, around doors, windows, plumbing fixtures, um, stuff of that nature. You know, any kind of moisture is really going to uh, create an odor. And you can also get something called the hygrometer. Hygrometer measures humidity in a home. And um, you want to make sure that that hygrometer is under 60%. And that will really, can you know, once it gets above 60, really 60 to 65, um, the humidity is just too high and um, you're going to be smelling a little bit of mustiness. So a part of the reason why mold smells, if you do have some type of, uh, you know, mold that causes mycotoxins, like let's just say black mold is something called MVOCs. And what that stands for is microbial volatile organic compounds. Now, um, you heard, you've heard of uh, probably VOCs before that's in like paint and, um, you know, the volatile organic compounds without the microbial in the beginning. Um, microbial is just basically adding the mold, which can be created uh, from water damaged building materials. The, the type of building material that, it, you know, causes it the most is um, drywall. Wet drywall can really cause MVOCs and that kind of pungent odor is really um, something that can indicate, you know, there's, um, there's an issue in the home. 